Um, my Lords, it is a great pleasure to, to follow the uh, noble Baroness, and, and I um, entirely agree that this, this debate and, and this subject generally is not, is, is, is not the right place to be taking sides, uh, and th this debate has not been conducted in, in, in the manner of a, of a debate in which the culture war is raging. I, I would also like to echo what, what the noble Baroness said about the exceptionally powerful and moving speech um, from Baroness Hunt. To, to, to my right. Um, the, uh, the, the, that said, I, I, I do want to make some observations about the, uh, the potential legal consequences of um, a bill of the sort that is um, before the House at the moment um, being enacted. I, if one is going to uh, criminalise conduct in such a sensitive and contentious area, then it is obviously essential to draw the line between that which is criminal and that which is not criminal with great care. The, uh, the risk here is not so much um, a risk of um, convictions and um, draconian penalties being imposed by the court following um, convictions, because the courts will um, probably... Um, act sensibly uh, if and when cases are brought before them. The, the risk, the danger here, is, is more a, a weaponization of the criminal process by parties who are ideologically motivated in, in relation to these matters in one way or another. One speaker referred to the prospect of um, teachers reporting um, parents to the police uh, one can imagine, um, in, in an unhappy situation of divorcing parents, one parent reporting the other to the police for taking the wrong position in relation, in, in relation to the child's um, in, intentions. Uh, and, and obviously there are issues in relation uh, to the, the actions of um, uh, uh, priests. Um, so it, it is the risk that the criminal process may be weaponized that we should have very much in mind. And given that risk, imprecision in a bill of this type is very dangerous. Um, I want to use the time I have just, just to make one or two observations about what, with respect, are uh, unsatisfactory aspects to the, um, uh, uh, concerning the wording of this bill. Let me start with the word practice, which appears in, sub in one, sub uh, section 1, subsection uh, 1, and, and then also in subsection 2. That's a dangerously ambiguous word. It's caused problems in uh, the context of employment law. Does it mean, can it be constituted by a single act or a single conversation, or does it have to be something uh, rather more long-running than that? Does it in some way connote the offering of professional services, as in the sense of a doctor's practice or a uh, solicitor's practice. These ambiguities are uh, um, uh, unhelpful. Uh, th then there is the strange word assumption. That is an odd word, as, as another speaker mentioned. That is an odd word to find in a criminal statute. Uh, I suspect that that is a synonym for belief. And if it is a synonym for belief, then the word belief should be used, because that will bring into sharp focus the arguable tension between this bill and the, right, the rights in relation to religious freedom and religious expression that are contained within the Convention. So I would make that respectful suggestion. Then there is the odd word inherently, in the phrase inherently preferable. What does that mean? I take that to mean that the, uh, what has to be demonstrated is an assumption or belief that uh, sexual orientation or gender identity is preferable in all circumstances, i.e. irrespective of the particular circumstances and characteristics of the individual concerned. If I'm right about that, then that tends to, to, to suggest, I think, that what this bill is really driving at, to some extent, is what Orwell would, would call wrong think, the wrong sort of belief yes. that is disapproved of. Clarification and, and the use of more precise language might bring these matters mm. into sharper focus. Then there is the phrase, has the intended purpose of attempting to. <laughs> I, I think it's a little, little drawn out, but I think that means which is intended to. 
In law, you are intended normally to, or presumed to intend, the, uh, the, the, the normal consequences of your acts. But how is intention going to be proved here? Intention to change gender identity. What is gender identity? Uh, no definition is uh, provided by the Bill. Now, I just want to focus, time that remains, on, on one um, type of situation that will certainly arise. What is, uh, what, what is the Bill supposed to do where there is genuine confusion and uncertainty on the part of the, say, child or adolescent as to the question of gender, as, as often there, there will be? Uh, can one be criminalised for attempting to change gender identity where, where there is real doubt as to the true position in relation to gender identity. The bill is silent as to that. So where does it all get to? Posit the situation where an adolescent girl comes to her mother one day, troubled, uh, in, in, for whatever reason, uh, approaching or going through puberty, facing all the difficulties that arise at that time of one's life, and says to her mother, um, Mum, I am um, identifying now as a boy. A few days later, or a few months later, uh, the girl might say, I I I've ceased to identify as a boy, I I've decided I am gay. What does that situation require? It requires compassion, uh, empathy, love, curiosity. What it does not require is a situation in which, arguably, that child should be delivering the caution to her mother, whatever you say may be taken down and used in court against you. What it does not require is a situation in which the mother would be well advised to say, no comment. But that is what happens when one criminalises or is in danger of criminalising uh, communications of, of, of that nature. <coughs> a Scottish uh, casey described the similar but much more extensive legislation or proposed legislation in Scotland as a jellyfish. Uh, something that, that it, it is impossible to get hold of, but has a sting in the tail. And, and that, that's, not, that's not that far wide of the mark. This, this bill is clearly born of, of excellent intentions, but I very much doubt that it is, it is curable by amendment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.